Welcome to Pat's Picks. This is the $20 Challenge. Thank you so much for coming by. Today is day 11 of the $20 Challenge, and I am happy to say the account is up 18% for the day, which is great news considering yesterday's loss. So I made a good chunk of those losses back, and I made four trades, three green, one break even, actually the opposite of yesterday. And I also made one trade that was same day expiration, a quick scalp, um, so yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. Okay, you can see here I made my first trade. It was a 390 put. I got that at 1041. And before I decided to open this position, what I was waiting for was a clear direction in one way or the other, especially after yesterday sideways trading, which if you saw is what killed me yesterday. Um, and so I wanted to avoid that at all costs. Definitely don't want to make the same mistakes twice, especially two days in a row. So I waited for a break in the support from this morning. And once I had confirmed uh, that that was a downtrend coming, then I decided to take my position. Basically, once I saw this red candle here, I saw strong selling pressure and decided it was a good time to get ready to place that put. So I took the put and made a quick 44%, held it for about 10 minutes, and I was out at 10.51, so, excuse me, I was out right here, and if I would have held this position real quick, I don't want to dwell on this too much, but this is just an example of why I love options, and why I trade, um, why I trade them, because of this right here. So I bought it at $9, and it hit a peak of 97, which is, I think, around 1,000%. Or so. Um, when I checked earlier at 80, the math it was like 800% if I would have held it. But anyways, I don't want to think about that too much. Again, that's one of those things. There's always FOMO. There's always man, I shouldn't have sold when you're taking profits. But that's why you need to be happy with the small gains. And this is just another lesson to always learn. Um, be grateful for green, whether it's 5% or 500%. So anyways, moving on to trade two. Um, I still felt there was a lot of downward pressure now that we had officially broken this um, yesterday's chop zone then I felt maybe we we're gonna come down and, and reach for that 393 also when I was in this position this morning I forgot to mention I was I was very confident that we were gonna keep selling off because of that gap up this morning um, a lot of the times when there's a gap up or gap down and you see that pressure moving toward that direction um, that gap will fill. Not always, but I, a lot of the time. So that's something to always watch for. And, and there's already been examples of that in just videos I've made in the last couple of weeks. So that's always a good strategy to look for. So that gave me confidence to make sure to hold that, which was nice considering yesterday. Um, there wasn't a lot of clear direction or anything to give me too much confidence, which is why I hedged and ultimately lost more money in the chop. So third trade of the day, uh, quick in and out, uh, got at ten dollars, sold at twelve, and that was nice. So I got in here. Let's see. Um, sorry, I got in right here, and I believe I was break even or had a maybe down five percent for just a minute, and then I sold around here, and then one more trade I made. I should have waited, but I only had five dollars of buying power, and I was I was feeling frisky after watching all the selling, so. I got in here at $4 on the same day expiration, and the reason I chose one that expired same day um, was because if I would have bought a $4 contract that expires tomorrow, it, there's a, a great chance it doesn't even budge. Um, but with something that expires same day, you can see it go from, from 4 or 5 to 50 um, fairly, fairly often. So not every day, of course, but I've seen it happen many, many times. It's not rare. So that's why I went with that, just in case. And then I ultimately took a quick scalp and sold that at $5 because I had to leave to drop one of my kids off at school. And I sold that during drop-off from my phone, which is, which is kind of cool if you think about it. I mean, what, else, what other career or life, um, life, what other thing can you do where you can work and, and to take it on the go like that? So um, luckily the service was okay, and I was ready to sell the whole time. So once I had that opportunity to take the quick profit, um, 25% then I took it and that was all I made for the day so real quick here it is up 18% on the day again I will always be transparent show all my trades um, as painful as it can be sometimes like yesterday
because that was a rough one. But i um, happy to report today is green. And that's about all I got to say. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know down below and I'll be happy to help. Um, and yeah, again, thank you all so much for the support. I greatly appreciate it. And I hope you stay happy and healthy. I'll see you tomorrow.